Mary Chestnut, A Diary from Dixie is a compelling historical document that provides an intimate look into the life of a Southern aristocrat during the Civil War. Mary Boykin Chestnut, the author and main character of the diary, was a plantation owner's wife, an active participant in the Confederate social and political circles, and an astute observer of the events unfolding around her. The diary covers the period between 1860 and 1865, chronicling the secession of the southern states, the outbreak of the war, and its eventual defeat. The most striking feature of Mary Chestnut's diary is its candor and emotional intensity. She writes with remarkable honesty and depth about her own feelings and those of the people around her. She is unafraid to criticize and mock the Southern leaders, including President Jefferson Davis and his wife Farina, and to express her disillusionment with the cause of the Confederacy. Chestnut is equally candid about the harsh realities of war and slavery, describing the devastation wrought by the battles, the suffering of the soldiers, and the cruelty of the slave system. Her diary is an invaluable source of information about the Civil War and the Southern society that produced it. One of the most important themes of the diary is the role of women in the Civil War. Chestnut was an active participant in the Confederate social and political circles, using her wit and charm to influence the decisions of the men around her. She was also a confidant and advisor to her husband, James Chestnut Jr., a Confederate general and senator. However, despite her intelligence and resourcefulness, Chestnut was ultimately powerless in the face of the male-dominated society and the harsh realities of war. She expresses her frustration and anger at being relegated to the sidelines, unable to act on her own behalf or on behalf of the slaves she sympathized with. Another important theme of the diary is the contradiction between the ideals of the Confederacy and the realities of Southern society. Chestnut was a staunch supporter of secession in the Confederate cause, believing that the South was fighting for its freedom and independence. However, she was also aware of the hypocrisy and injustice of the slave system, and the ways in which it contradicted the principles of democracy and human rights that the Confederacy claimed to uphold. Chestnut's diary is an eloquent testimony to the complexity and ambivalence of Southern society, and the difficulty of reconciling its ideals with its realities. Chestnut's diary is also notable for its literary style and historical significance. She was an accomplished writer and her diary is a remarkable piece of literature, filled with vivid descriptions, sharp dialogue, and keen observations. Moreover, the diary is an invaluable historical document, providing a first-hand account of the events and personalities of the Civil War. It offers insights into the attitudes and beliefs of the Southern elite, the political and military strategies of the Confederacy, and the experiences of women and slaves during the war. Overall, Mary Chestnut, a Diary from Dixie is an exceptional historical document and a compelling piece of literature. It provides a unique perspective on the Civil War and Southern society, and is a testament to the courage and resilience of the women who lived through it. Chestnut's Diary is a must-read for anyone interested in the history of the Civil War, the role of women in American history, or the complexities of Southern society.